if you run TailScale on your devices and run PyHole on your local network. You should be able to take advantage of PyHole's ad blocking even when you are on a remote network, and I'll show you how to do that in this video. I'm going to assume that you have both TailScale and PyHole already set up, but if not, I have a few videos that I've created covering both TailScale and PyHole that I've put into playlists, which I'll link to in the description below. For my setup, I'm running TailScale on my Synology NAS as a subnet router to be able to access other devices on my local network from a remote TailScale client. So if I would like to access a printer, for example, I could do so using the printer's internal IP address. PyHole, along with Unbound, are also running on my Synology NAS, and I use the Docker Compose method for my setup. Note that PyHole could be set up on another device as well, for instance, a Raspberry Pi. If that is your setup, the configuration will be different from mine, where you need to use the TailScale assigned IP address rather than the internal IP address of the device running PyHole. TailScale has a how-to guide that goes through that setup, which I'll link to in the description below as well. Once everything is in place, setting up access to PyHole through TailScale is quite simple. But before doing so, I'll run NSLOOKUP from a terminal window to determine what name server I'm currently using. Next, I'll bring up my TailScale admin console, select the DNS page, then under Name Servers, click Add Name Server, then select Custom. Here, I'll enter in the IP address of my PyHole Docker container, then click Save. Next, I'll toggle on the Override Local DNS switch to enable PyHole to be used as my name server for any of my TailScale devices. Then I'll bring up the Machines page and disable key expiry for my Synology NAS where PyHole runs to disable the need to re-authenticate, which could interrupt DNS service. Now I'll bring up my terminal window and run NSLOOKUP once again, and we can see that the name server being used is set to a TailScale assigned IP address which points to my PyHole setup. And that's pretty much it. PyHole is now enabled for all of the connected TailScale devices and ad blocking is up and running. We can see from this test here where I first connected to speedtest.net without PyHole enabled. Then after enabling PyHole through TailScale, I refreshed the speedtest.net website and now PyHole ad blocking is working properly. To learn about the various ways that you can set up TailScale as well as PyHole, make sure to check out the playlists that I mentioned earlier, which are also displayed here on screen. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work, check out the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.